Did you know that some successful people are successful because of something called future pacing? So how is it that these successful people are able to design things in their mind and make them actually come true in the future? So that's what we're going to look at in today's video. My name is Alex Morgan and I help you align your actions, your beliefs, your dreams, and your thinking so you can be successful. And believe me, success is coming for you, so you might as well be ready for it. So what exactly is future pacing? Future pacing is a way that once we resolve something or once we want to think about something, it's a way for us to think about how we can do that in the future, how we can create that in the future easily and effortlessly. So successful people, they know that this works because of two different reasons. And what are those? Well, the first one is the law of concentrated attention. So they know if they concentrate and put their attention, focus their attention on something for long enough, then it's more likely to happen than something else that they don't put their attention on. This is why we get what we focus on 100% of the time. Because if we're focusing on something, then chances are it's going to happen for us. However, you need to actually focus on something that you want, you need to have the right emotions within it, all of these things. You need to actually believe it. So they know if they concentrate their attention on the right things, then this is how it happens. This is how it's so effective. And this is one of the reasons why hypnosis works so well. Because hypnosis, all we're doing is focusing someone's attention on something that they're not used to focusing their attention on. Many clients are focusing on their problems. Why not focus them on something else like solutions, possibilities, a more compelling future? Why not future pace them? And the second reason is future pacing. It gives them an opportunity to build repetition. The unconscious mind, it loves repetition. You can't just imagine something one time, spend 10 seconds with it in your mind and expect to achieve it. You need to design it in a specific way. You need to ask your mind how you can do this easily and effortlessly. You need to tell your mind to deliver the results. You need to repeatedly think about this. Your unconscious mind, it needs different repetitions for the habit to install inside of you so then it can happen for you on the outside in reality. So you need to keep these two things in mind when you're doing future pacing. Yes, I know you want success right away. Who doesn't? I know I do. However, at the same time, you need to focus your attention and you need to give yourself some repetition so this actually is effective for you. Because how many other things in your life how many other things have you just been able to do the first time and suddenly you're an expert at it? No, it takes some repetition. It takes some practice where you're actually focused and you have a goal and you have a way to measure yourself. So with future pacing, we want to keep that same thinking. When we do this, we want to do it in a certain way that actually is going to deliver us predictable results. Maybe we can't predict everything that happens in our future. At the same time, we can get predictable results results. Now, before I tell you exactly what to do and how to do this, there's one other thing that you need to consider, and that is that the unconscious mind, it doesn't know the difference between what's real and what you're imagining. So when you're imagining things, it actually thinks that that could actually be happening for you. So that's why using the power of future pacing is so important. You're gonna be focusing on things that you want and your mind is actually gonna think that this is something that you can really achieve if you're focusing on it with a really good picture and with a really good feeling. So keep this in mind that when you're imagining things, your unconscious mind can think that these things are real. So now that you know why this is so important to learn and kind of what it is, I'm going to tell you a couple ways that you can 
future pace. So there's kind of a really easy way, and then there's one that's more of a visualization that takes a bit longer. Whatever one you want to do is fine. It doesn't matter to me. It's up to you how you want to do it. Now the first way is you can just ask yourself what it is you want now that you've resolved your problem. What do you want instead and how can you get this easily and effortlessly? And you can just think about this in your mind just answering these questions. So what do you want instead? What is it that you haven't gotten that you would like to have instead? And think about that. And just let your mind marinate on that and put a good feeling on that. Or let's say you just got rid of an old belief. If you go out into the future, go ahead and do something without that old belief and look what happens now. How empowered do you feel if you don't have that limiting belief or whatever is bothering you? So there's some different questions that you can ask to do this. However, I like to do it in a more of a bit longer way so that I can actually add everything in that I want to add. So one way I do this is you can just sit down, lay down, get yourself comfortable and relax a bit. It's important to relax, close your eyes, have a bit of time where there's no distractions, nothing. Make sure you're comfortable, free from distractions. And then imagine yourself doing what you want to do with no problems. You're focusing on what you want, what you want to achieve. And just imagine you as this person who's completely capable of anything. Imagine yourself one week from now, what are you doing? And take all those things, ask yourself what you can learn, and then take all those things that you learned and imagine yourself two weeks from now, what you're doing, how amazing it is. Take all those things that you learned from those first two weeks and imagine yourself one month from now. Take what you learn, imagine yourself three months from now. Take what you learn, imagine yourself six months from now. Take what you learn one year from now and you can go out further and further if you want. That's one way to do future pacing. So spend you know 30 seconds to a minute on each uh, little time frame there and ask yourself what you learn and keep taking those learnings further and further to see what you're able to achieve. And the wonderful thing is, is if you actually picture these things, something that you picture in let's say one year, two years, five years, if you focus on it, you have a clear picture and you take all those learnings with you, you're gonna find that you can actually achieve these things much faster. So pay attention to that. Some people, they set goals and when they do this and they can achieve it much faster. So that's one way to do it. The other way is I kind of have a business meeting with the unconscious mind. I have mentioned this in other videos. However, this is so effective for me that I wanna share it here. You need to act like you're having a business meeting with your unconscious mind so you can build that communication, build that rapport, build that trust with your unconscious mind so that when you actually tell your unconscious mind that you want something, it's gonna get it for you. So set a goal, get into that nice relaxed state and tell your mind, I have achieved whatever it is. Know when you wanna achieve it by, know, the, know how you wanna feel, how easy it is, how effortless it is, how you're successfully doing this and notice the emotions that are there. Then ask your unconscious mind how you can do this easily and effortlessly and you can have a notebook ready so you can write down various answers. I was doing this the other night with a few different things and I ended up having each thing I wanted to do on a separate page and listed all the things that my unconscious mind said to do easy and effortlessly and then I imagined myself doing it in the future. And then tell your unconscious mind at the end to deliver the results. So you wanna imagine yourself, however you do this, the easiest thing to think is you wanna imagine yourself doing things in the future, knowing you have nothing to resolve inside of you. You've gotten rid of all your negative emotions, you've gotten rid of all your limiting beliefs, any internal conflicts. You've got rid of anything that's holding you back. So consider that. 
then you want to make a clear picture of you doing something in the future without these old beliefs that you know that you can actually do it notice what happens instead and notice what you can learn from this the learning of which will allow you to keep doing these things easy and it'll be effortless for you so if you have any questions go ahead and comment below or you can reach out to me all my information will be in the description of the video if you haven't already go ahead and like the video and subscribe to the channel i really appreciate all the support that i've been getting lately thanks for watching and i hope to see you on the next video